Is modern worship music literally stealing your spiritual energy? Stick with me here. This is an unpopular opinion, but it is something I've experienced myself, and I wanted to dive into it for anyone who's open to it. If you're like me, you've probably been at a worship concert or a church service, and you've had some really deep feelings, convicting feelings of your own sinfulness, right? You may have even wanted to go down to the altar and confess those sins. I am certainly not against healing trauma through emotional release. However, in my observation, these were always focused more on the sinfulness of the individual rather than forgiving others, letting go, and actually healing those traumas. Maybe that's just my experience. I don't know. And with all this emotional release and getting down on oneself, especially about all of the past sins in our life, has got to breed a very specific type of spiritual energy. If you're into the woo-woo side of this, and what better place to do it than a place that's designed to resonate with that energy. Spoiler alert, even if you're in a modern church that doesn't have the actual resonant architecture that we know and love from all these old churches, there is still a resonant frequency going on with even the sound systems and all the different things going on within a church. And I'm sorry, but if you think the devil isn't soaking up all that energy, then I don't know. You haven't really looked into spiritual energy, in my opinion. Again, this is nothing against church. I personally left it myself, but when I really got into esotericism and started understanding spiritual energies, I started to understand that when we are not transmuting the energy and we are releasing it, that's what esoteric magic calls creating a daemon or a demon because you're not doing anything with that energy. You're trying to give it up to God at the altar there, but really you're internalizing it back into yourself, admitting all your faults without any actual healing of the trauma. And I know this is controversial, but I have to speak out on it because this was my experience. I found myself more and more unalived inside, in my soul, literally screaming for help. And the only way I ever found it was to get really honest that nothing I was doing within the church, no matter what church or tradition I tried, was actually helping me. That's why I ultimately deconstructed, left the church, and became a full-on spiritualist, supernaturalist. And of course I believe in God still. I believe in an, a universal deity, but not in the way I was taught in church.